My name is Ryan Foyd with Apex Movement, and it's raining really hard outside. But that doesn't mean you can't do parkour, so I'm going to teach you how to do a pop vault today. A pop vault is a useful technique to get over walls that are too tall to vault normally. It's a hybrid technique, which means you should already know how to do a good wall run and your basic vaults. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this move. To learn a pop vault, you want to start out by finding a wall that's just a little bit shorter than your own height. Now, as you take some steps back, you actually want to limit your run up to maybe four to eight good steps of run. Now, as I gradually accelerate toward the wall, I should hit top speed on my final step on the ground. This final step on the ground should be about a leg's length away from the wall. And then when I step on this wall, my foot should be up on the ball of the foot, not flat footed. Also, it's about waist high. Now doing this will allow me to convert my momentum from horizontal into vertical. As you approach your peak height from the step on the wall, place your hands on the top of the wall and push up to continue your vertical momentum. Continue to drive your hips up, execute some type of vault over the top of the wall, and finish with a good landing. Before you worry about vaulting over the wall, you should practice just kicking off of the wall without any slipping. Once you've got the hang of that, you can practice kicking off the wall and using your arms to get your hips up nice and high. Once you can get your hips up high, vaulting over the top of the wall will be a breeze. Start out by learning a pop step vault. As you get better, you can remove the foot tap on top of the wall. Once you've mastered this variation, you can move on to other types of pop vaults, such as pop monkey plants, pop kong vaults, and pop dash vaults. The best way to practice pop vaults is to find a wall that gets gradually taller over a long distance. Start out by doing pop vaults on the short end and slowly build your way up to the tall end. A good pop vault begins with a good run up. If you don't judge your steps correctly, you may find yourself stutter stepping, hesitating, and ultimately slipping on the wall. The best way to avoid this is to take longer strides and also minimize the amount of steps in your run up. Another common problem that people have when doing a pop vault is trying to rush the arm section of the vault before they get a good step and push from their foot. A lot of the time, this is caused by looking at the top of the wall too early. Focus on your foot getting a good push up the wall before placing your hands on the top. The goal is to get as much height as possible with the foot and right before you reach your apex, use the arms to help continue momentum. As you get better at pop vaults, you should practice taking extra steps on the wall to get extra height. Additionally, you should practice vaulting in different directions and taking off with different feet so that you remain ambidextrous in your skills. Two-step pop vaults can also be a fantastic way to develop good climb up strength and technique. Start out by practicing your two-step pop vault with only a few steps of run up. Then limit yourself to two steps, then one step. Finally, practice one foot on the wall and one foot on the ground. Once you've mastered this, you can apply the same technique, but from a cat hang position. My name is Ryan Ford with Apex Movement, and I hope this tutorial helped you learn a pop vault. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like, leave a comment below, and check out some of my other beginner tutorials right here. You stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time.